My content is for 13 and up or adult collections of the product. You are reading the title correctly. So Hasbro's hand was basically caught in the cookie jar. And it's a video to talk about where I want to say it's a new low, but I feel like every time you talk about Hasbro, they just do somehow worse. I absolutely despise Hasbro for what they've done to Burst and how they've pretty much just like done such a disrespect to the bays that they've done for the quality that has been a, such a severe downgrade. So in this, we're gonna get to a very interesting thing where basically Hasbro gets um, fake reviews for the stuff in a way, and they all kind of come out in the same time. And what their tactic basically is is essentially just to get these reviews, which is obviously manipulated by them, to advertise the products by people who either know nothing about Beyblade or just paid off just to say as, as nice as possible towards them. Because let's be honest now, they're probably not going to get influencers if they're not going to be sucking up to Hasbro, right? So I want to talk about it. We're going to go over Glory Ragnar, which, by the way, is not even released. But even for that example and the other one, from what I understand from what they do is that they'll basically send a sample to them. And I do think they do actually get the product, but I don't think the thoughts or that stuff is truly genuine in a way. And, and we're going to go over it. So for Glory Ragnar, great quality. I've received Beyblades. Bailey Burst Quad Drive, Glory Ragnar starter pack about two weeks ago. My 12 year old loves it, came in handy and he replaces missing ones. He thinks it's cooler than his original ones because the spinner is made out of metal, not plastic that can break. Side note, the spinner does not have, yeah, the spinner does have to be put together, but it's pretty easy. My 12 year old uh, did it himself. He had a previous similar stat and it does come with an instruction manual if forever gets stuck. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is how you basically just have the most generic thing where like, they essentially like, hey, you gotta make sure you mention that assembly was easy. And that you put the name of the thing in there. Like, okay, five stars? The other thing too, when they say it, it, it's made of metal and not plastic, especially for quad drive, what, what, what are you talking about? The disc? This is plastic back in front plastic not counting the screws obviously plastic for the quad drive in specific i even know what they mean by that that's why i don't think they do it's broccoli <laughs> okay let's go over the next one now this one's three stars okay cool top a beyblade is effectively a top it was a little weird that it had to be assembled and the assembly itself was non-intuitive. After five to seven minutes, I figured it out. My kids gave it a spin a couple of times, but then after they were pretty much done with it. Now, I gotta say that, <laughs> you don't know what, the thoughts at the end, I think it's pretty much the same with everyone. You do notice a common theme with things. Also, I just gotta mention this, but my guy, <laughs> this, five to seven minutes? The thing's like, I'm pretty sure the thing is already assembled on the layer and you just... <laughs> Five to seven minutes? I... I don't... I don't believe that. I, I refuse to believe that. I could maybe... I could maybe give them the benefit and it was trying to switch it into like high mode or something, but... Whatever. Next one, great addition. This was a great addition to the ones he already had. He loves playing with his friend and he keeps busy for hours. Easy to use once you get the hang of it, but the kids uh, got it faster than I did. He started to collect them all. Then after soon, I was trying to listen to a guy to get interested in something new, so I picked up the new Beyblade Burst Quad Drive Glory Ragnar Starter Pack. Beyblade Burst Quad Drive Glory Ragnar R7 Start Pack. I really enjoyed it for him. It was a little hard, which it came with something to battle in the starter pack. Uh, was a little misleading. I will grab another one to battle with it though. So again, it's like people either, I, what I understand is it, it, it's just sent to people who don't know nothing about the bays, just told, here are the key phrases and words you have to say, put the review and you get like the free product or whatever, right? And it's like, it's a dirty tactic what they're doing for the thing. Cause essentially it's, I don't, I don't know if scamming is the right word. I think misleading people because when they, if anyone does see these reviews, they're just going to assume it's good or whatever, right? Because 
A1 new search is the thing, and especially like on the ones like for the Target reviews, you're like the, the Walmart stuff or whatever, right? Like, it, it it's not genuine and it's not honest, or it's not even why people actually know the products or whatever, right? And again, you can tell that this is most certainly all at the same time because it's all a week ago. This was not like it was spaced out, whatever, all the same time. This is all deliberate by them. Now, there's another example, which we did find on the Interstellar, uh, was it the, I'm, I'm gonna get the right name for it, I, or it was the, the other stadium set, whatever it was, it was the Closer Nebula. So, uh, you'll basically know that all the reviews read the same, same time posted, originally posted on Hasbro all three months ago. This review was collected as part of a promotion. And, it's all the same thing. It's the exact same keywords for the thing. It's the exact same phrasing for the thing. It's all the same thing. So it's so hilarious to see how low they have gotten. And it's so funny when you read the PR stance for Quad Drive, connect with the community. Yeah, sure. They don't give a single care towards any of the actual bait tubers, anyone of the community, nothing. They do not care. It is a facade, it is an illusion. Do not trust Hasbro, please, do not. I have no respect towards Hasbro, I have no faith towards Hasbro. They disappoint us almost every single time. Maybe even the Pro Series, okay, fine, sure. But even that has a lot of issues. That is something so simple that they, they can overcome, but they choose not to. And it's such an important thing to talk about this because it's enough with defenses towards Hasbro. Hasbro is not like some company that's worth like $10 or something. You know what I mean? Billions of billions, right? They're making the profit. And when they do stuff like this, and when you see the quality of the stuff that they release, it's absolutely disgusting. Now, as I'm gonna be leaving off with as a reminder that I dislike Hasbro, I think they are an absolute disrespect to Beyblade. What I do wanna mention is I do have a video going really over the issues of the rise and downfall, and I do have other information that I've been saying for a while, which is essentially that once these last two base releases, uh, not only will I do the reviews to try to do a review of the last stuff for this thing unless they're gonna do BU but I'm also gonna do a part two to the rise and downfall because one it's important to highlight any extra stuff and respond and I'm very excited to do so so I do hope you enjoyed this video I guess kind of talking about it it's something that's certainly interesting and it's also something that does not surprise me and Hasbro again continues to disappoint us right Anyways, I want to say thank you for watching, have a wonderful day, and I'll probably advertise the store right now. So on our store, um, again, this is an optional way to support the channel. Um, you can support regardless by liking and subscribing. I will take it either way. But um, for it, what I wanted to go over was we have things like Zest Achilles, Hello Kitty, um, other stuff. It's an optional way, like I said, to support the channel. I do create any support regardless, and at the end we'll play an ad for our, our store. Hey everyone, we are doing a limited giveaway for our customers who pre-ordered uh, the Hello Kitty on our shop, and the ones you still want to pre-order, make sure to listen. So you automatically get in with your purchase of Kitty, and what we're giving, you can win with your purchase of one, or it, it, at least one, some got multiple. If you win, you can get one Hello Kitty, that includes the shipping along with the plushie. And you get a plushie of Hello Kitty that is legit authentic from Japan. So for the people who purchase, you're automatically entered into the thing, and for the people who want to get into it, so long as you pre-order before September 10th, which is the draw date, you have a chance. So best of luck to everyone. It's an authentic plushie of Hello Kitty. It's really nice, a good opportunity we want to give back to our, uh, our support from our customers.